The next game, the next game from Exidy is actually, uh, it's an unreleased game. The, uh, the California Extreme Classic. I'm talking, of course, about, about, uh, Teeter Torture. Of course, we don't have a flyer, we just have a, we just have a, pictures of a cabinet. If you zoom in on the, uh, the marquee at the top here, it says, uh, oops. Uh, Exidy doesn't remember making this game. So, uh, bold decision to put torture in the name of your video game. <laughs> I don't know if that had any anything to do with why this uh, might not have gotten released. Um, this does use a, a dial for movement and a fire button. I believe that uh, that fire button does actually uh, is actually used in this game because it's. Uh, Kind of a single screen shooter. It's a single screen shooter with a with a twist. So I do I, I hope I have my controls configured. Because uh it is a it is a dial, so that means analog control is my favorite. But this is uh yeah, and it only moves only moves left and right. So yeah, this cabinet has been seen at uh California Extreme and pretty much nowhere else. I guess eventually the the ROMs were dumped. I need to get the game name up there. We'll put prototype there just so everybody knows this was not released. Incredible, fabulous, great, super good. You can see there's kind of a there's kind of a template for a lot of these uh these IRM games. Hold on. I think I forgot to enable mouse support. I kind of need the mouse to play this. And I think I, I think I configured this for Yes, I did. The Torture Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's uh that's a cock and balls. That's definitely a penis. <laughs> yeah, what is what's gonna have a artist control yourselves? <laughs> Join the cock and balls hall of fame. I don't wanna get banned from Twitch. So so the way this game works is that uh, if you don't destroy the enemies are coming down, those end up like weighing down the uh, the little platform you're on. And the more that are on it, the faster it goes down. The objective of this game is to is to not uh, set off the dynamite. So when you go to the left, you can see the thing starts tilting. So then you got to move over to the right. And so if these things things. These things, if these enemies clip onto your platform, then they're going to uh, start weighing it down more. I don't think my, uh, I don't think my trackball is, or trackball, my sensitivity is high enough. Let's turn this up a little bit. Eh, that's pretty good. Nope. Oh, no, don't hit the switch. Game audio's a little low. Now there's these bonus things that show up. Also, you just get points for shooting that thing, so now there's a... There's like kind of a leeching mechanic if you want to... If you want to get more points. Those things are worth extra points too, I think. Are those parts like... Just Go away so fast, it's hard to do anything with it. I haven't hit one of those bonuses yet. Yeah, honestly, this, this concept isn't terrible. I've definitely played worse, but... But also, yeah, like, the, uh... <laughs> it's not a very colorful game. Even for 1982. Uh, 
I think like eventually, yeah, like enemies are enemies are coming down a little faster. Shit. Not much of a break between levels. Oh, that's a that just skips you a level. Did I want to do that? <laughs> Did I want to warp? Well, I too late now. But again, I have to. I have to wonder if putting torture in the the title of your game was a good idea. Oh God, my eyes. Level nine. I wasn't ready for that. Blue, blue skies. I see. Ah, now it's green. Oh God. Set off the dynamite. This is where the torture part comes in, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Bonus cannon! So I guess you get a bonus cannon at 30,000. I don't know if it's every 30. Uh oh. Okay, now the enemies are coming down a lot faster. And yeah, there's not much of a break between levels either. It just throws you into the next level like almost immediately. Oh god. to like take out the things like all the way on the side so you can just try to stay in the middle more often. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Ah my eyes. Oh god. Okay, I skipped the level. I was trying to kill an enemy, but whatever. So the scoring rate definitely goes up as you get farther into the game. Yeah it is bonus every thirty thousand. Four bongos for the balls. Do not be swayed by the balls. Oh god. Ah! It's getting hard all of a sudden. Exidy blows all their, their music budget at the start of the stage. Start of a life, I should say. And then it's just fucking nothing. So, I don't know, this is... If your eyeballs can take it, I don't think this is awful. Like, I've definitely played worse games that got released. at least kind of kind of satisfying I would have expected much worse from a from an exity prototype you know oh it's getting a little stressful though that's where the torture part comes in But yeah, it definitely needs needs a little a little more something something. It's like kinda not all there yet. You need to tighten up the graphics on level four. <laughs> Whatever they said in that commercial. Like once you get the hang of it, like a credit can last for a decent amount of time, so that's cool. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now they're now they're weighing down that side, so if I'm on the left side, it's gonna go down faster. Oh my god! The screen turned bongo colored! I can't even fucking see shit. But, oh my god. 
The McDonald's palette. So I think the other thing about this game is that, like... So you're getting extra lives every 30,000, but the, uh, the point rate is actually going up on these later stages, so... Like, you can actually make up for your... For your death. Oh, God! It's giving me a headache. Yeah, I gotta put on sunglasses to play. Oh, God. This level's hard. It did have torture in the title. This is the torture. Big jam. Can I please get rid of the piss background? Uh-oh. Ooh, that was clutch. I'm dying when the, uh, the switch at the bottom hits the, uh, the, uh, the thing at the... hits the little switches. Like you're trying to you're trying to balance the platform out so it doesn't blow up like that. If these enemies cl cl uh, clamp onto it, it goes down faster. Ah, I was <laughs> yeah, like that. Bonus can. Yeah. yeah, once they're on the scale, they're they're there for good. Like you gotta deal with it. But like I said, extra lives are pretty plentiful. So you can You'll eventually get another life to, to make up for that. Oh god. Yep. And yeah, seems to be seems to be moving down faster now. Like it was really slow in the early levels, but now you have to you have to keep moving from left to right. This would probably be a little easier with a much more sensitive setting. Uh oh. And now things clamped up. What? I cleared the level though. Go. Ah! Missed. That was a level skip. Alright, this is already getting unmanageable for me. Ah! Jesus, it goes down really fast now. Is it getting remixed? What's going on here? Shit. Nice. Ah, fuck! It's that one fucking stage in KOF 13 that nobody wants to play on. The white room. has gone on for a while. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Game over. 310 even. Yo, Sebmall, thank you for the big old raid. How's it going? I'm regaining my eyesight. What little is left of it. Well, oh, the ball, the, one of the balls got tilted there. Ah, jeez. Yeah, I was playing some motherfucking teeter torture. But I think I think one credit of this is enough. <laughs> I think we get the we get the gist of this game. Um oh yeah, it it fixed the uh, the ball sack there. What the hell? It was all like off axis.
tilted down ball sack. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. This this game's kind of an eyesore when you when you get to those later stages. You let the waste collect and you score higher. I was just trying to survive. If I wait, if I let the waste collect, I'm not, I'm gonna die faster. So yeah, I guess there's a a lot of risk reward in this game. But <laughs> there's also a lot of uh, a lot of scorching backgrounds. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad on a CRT. I don't know. Maybe if the the CRT is kind of kind of a darker screen, maybe it's, maybe it'll be maybe it wouldn't be too bad. But and yeah, teeter torture. It's like I said. I'm not. Uh, I don't think it's the worst the worst thing that's ever Exidy made. I think it's better than Hard Hat. Um, did it need to be released though? Was it was it a game that actually needed to see release? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, let's get the pull up. Teeter torture. Rika. Hey. Come here. Hey there. What were you doing? Oh, that was cute. That was very cute. Hey. Hello, baby. You want to be a little talker? I think that would be cute. You're purring. It must mean you like this. You're getting used to it, right? <laughs> I wish you would get up on the desk. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna jump onto my headphones. Oh, anyway, teeter torture. Uh. <laughs> uh, fifty-eight percent gave us a two. 27% gave it a 3. That's pretty generous. 12% gave it a... Gave it a 1. Two voters gave it a 3. Or a 4. Um... Alright. I'm kind of torn because, like... As far as, like, single-screen shooters go... It's... It's kind of fun. Like it gets it gets very unmanageable at higher levels, but I don't know. It's I'm like I'm like right between a two and a three. I mean the whole the whole scale mechanic is not something you really saw. Uh. I don't know, like, especially, like, last week, or not last week, two weeks ago, I felt like I was a lot harder on games uh, compared to chat. Like, I was giving ones out to games that, that, that got twos. I don't know if... if I'm just feeling guilt in that regard or what. <laughs> But I kind of want to give this a three. I mean, I have to assume like the uh, the backgrounds aren't going to be. Maybe wouldn't be as eye scorching on a on a CRT. But I think gameplay wise, I think there's there's actually something there. And apparently, it's got some. Uh, uh, some risk reward score mechanics. Well, I mean, if I if I was playing the game uh, for the first time, 
Like, I might not have understood the scale mechanic at all, and I probably would have just, like, you know, gotten blown up without knowing what was going on. That's, that's definitely, uh... I could see that being a problem for people on location test. Like, they just don't understand it, and then they just... They just blow up, and they don't they don't understand why. So that could have been... That could have been another factor as to why it uh, didn't see a wide release. Or an actual release, I should say. I mean, could have been... Could have been anything. I don't... We need to get the... Uh, get the official word from somebody that worked at Exidy, I guess. Oh, there's Teeter Torture Art. Hold on. <laughs> Rika, you are very bonky right now. I'm rubbing up on my legs. That's true, they don't remember making it, so... I think the game just spontaneously appeared in the, uh... in the Exidy lab one day. Nobody really has an explanation for anything. Alright, well. Reddish, thank you for the, uh, for the MS Paint tear torture <laughs> interpretation <laughs> and thank you JD Amato Well, I like that it's ac it actually looks like wheels and not uh, and not balls. I'm not getting banned today. Maybe uh, maybe some other day. Uh oh, there's more art. Hold on. I know, right? Y'all have been, uh, y'all are cooking. Alright, one more. Thank you, Chubo. There's more butt cracks. Is he having a shameful yank to... <laughs> Man, you never know where that guy's gonna show up, do you? His eyeballs have nipples. Damn it, Chubo. <laughs> thank you for the 100 bits of green herring. And thank you, Chubo. <laughs> thank you, JD Amato. Thank you, Reg. <laughs> Sheesh. Y'all are way too fast at this. <laughs> Theater torture. Maybe I was kinder this game, to this game than I should have been, but... <laughs>